Yep. That's real. Mm. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Whiskey Heathens World Headquarters right here in Fort Pickmurray, Alberta. This is my hello wave now. That was beautiful. It's eccentric. You know I'm what? Like to everybody. Man, that was good. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> We're in Alberta. Yeah, we are. Drinking a piece of Alberta. Ooh, something special. History yeah. in a bottle. Yeah. So, what's it called? <laughs> this is Eclair's single cask series. Ooh. Yeah, so 2014, this is when they, they first started producing. Established. Yeah, and uh, allegedly this is from that time and has been aging. So, let me tell you a little bit about it. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to hear about it. It's my first time, our first time cracking it. Mm. So, as uh, you saw, yeah. not the easiest. Yeah, it's. <laughs> you know, yeah. I don't even know what to say about that, but it, it is. It didn't make it easy to drink. Difficult, and even here, like, still some on it. Yeah, you don't yeah. like the wax, do you? It. It's, I hate it. Look at this. Look. Oh, look. <laughs> it's brutal. You're gonna fight it for a while. I'm Use your gonna, teeth. I'm doing it. Oh. That's how I feel about that. Oh, right. carrying on here. Dear Cask Club member, that's me, January 2021. Ooh. <laughs> Many of you have been with us on this journey since day one. You've been on this journey since day one? Mm -hmm. Not with them. No, do you not have any bottles of... Like, I have batch one, two, batch three. Batch one. Yeah, so like as soon as they started doing malted whiskey, yeah. I was, I'm like, I'm in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm in. So oh, I'll carry on. I'm just getting excited here. So yeah, many of you have been with us on this journey since day one, and I am so excited to release our single cask whiskey. Whiskey is a waiting game, and it is a privilege to be the first Alberta craft distillery to release a six-year-old whiskey. Oh. Cask 10 was distilled using spirits crafted and barreled from our first year of production in 2014, and then re-barreled for another three years in a new European oak cask. Cool. It has been a huge achievement for myself and the team at Eclair Distillery to create a one-of-a-kind Alberta whiskey. We hope you toast a dram with us and can't wait to hear what you think the first of our single cask series. I never know how to say it. I never say it right. Slanchava! There you go. What he said. That would be uh, Caitlin Quinn, the head distiller at Eclair Distilleries. And then they said, P.S. We've included a piece of barrel from Cask 10, a part of history for you. That's pretty cool. It's real. It's real wood. Yeah. Also, this little thing. A tasting wheel. Yeah, a little tasting wheel. Got some cool things. Icing, sugar, dried fruits. Uh, what else? Alberta malted barley. Oh, well, that's a pretty obvious note, I would hope. Light <laughs> toast. So there's a few things on this bottle I got to tell you about. Please, please. <gasps> Wait, so listen. Uh, Eau Claire Distillery, handcrafted, cask number 10, single malt whiskey, distilled and bottled in Turner Valley, Alberta, Canada, aged six years. What else? Bottle 280, 100% Alberta barley, non-chill filtered, no added coloring. Oh. Single cask series, product of Canada, 48% alcohol. 48%. So, would we like to see a cask strength? Of course we would. Is that coming in time? Of course it is. <laughs> because we asked for our single cask series and we got a single cask series. I don't mean we asked, but we did. But I Consumers, mean, we those asked. of us that are in the know and they listen, they're pouring at uh, festivals and stuff when, uh, when that was a thing. Um, so I, I'm in, I'm in, I, I'm on the Eau Claire. So before we, we dive right into the glass here, Still some more. Oh, tell us, tell us everything. To make a masterpiece, no compromise can be tolerated. I like that, I like that. Any whiskey worth sipping takes patience. Cask number 10, the very first single cask release from Eau Claire Distillery, made with 100% Alberta barley yep. and aged six years in European oak. Enjoy the compelling range of Alberta's first farm to glass single cask. Farm to glass. You may be familiar with uh, Rupert's whiskey, with the Plowman's rye. We don't have any because it comes and we drink that you immediately. You can find out more about the Rupert's though by clicking the link above here. Yeah, we made some, uh, 
We cocktails. made some uh, cocktails. We made some drinks. We drank it straight. We had fun with that one. Mm -hmm. We are not cocktail masters like Ooh. the Park Whiskey Society. Hashtag Park Whiskey Society. But we can drink cocktails. <laughs> But you so were talking about plowman's rye. Yeah, we don't have any better. because it doesn't last. Nope, comes and goes. Yeah. Um, so, all right then. <sighs> wow, that's uh, it's got a, a nut kind of fruit. I was gonna say fruit. I got yeah. fruit right away. Like uh, a plum pit to me, but it's very bright. It's very. Uh, uh, Youthful. It doesn't smell like 48 though. It's weird. I'm getting a touch of uh, like old vinyl siding, like withered vinyl. Maybe that's that youthfulness. Maybe it's more of a eucalyptus, perhaps. It's a it's a note I use often in in uh, younger whiskeys because I often find it in younger whiskeys. Yeah, like adhesive glue type stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, but it's like so subtle. I like this so far on the nose. Mm -hmm. Shall we? Oh yes, we shall. Mmm. Earthy, but like buttery popcorn kind of. Yeah, there's butter. Mm. Ooh, that is yummy. Forty-eight percent. Yes, it is. Ooh, good choice. Thank you. You know, I really toast. wish I had a demitasse. How feel do like, you do that? I feel like I need to sneeze. Wait, David Blaine? <laughs> Something hurts. You're a fat Chris Angel? <laughs> Chris Angelo. <laughs> Just in case. Um, it doesn't need water. Mm -mm. Don't get us wrong. I, 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 I was speaking for you. I didn't mean to. But to me, it doesn't need water in any way, shape, or form. It just simply does not need water. But I'm gonna add some water just to see what happens. And uh, this I've, is a, a, a... I've pinned it down, I know what it is. A little bit chewy as well. Yeah, this is fresh baked banana bread with walnuts put with a bit of butter on it. Oh man, great note. I would like to uh, have a little fire. Uh, maybe we can do that a little later. Yeah. And uh, throw some bread down. And, some banana bread, see what happens. Well, let's see what this does now. One and a half for me. Mm. That is very nice. I like that. Mm. Got to talk about the price, though, folks. So, is this available for purchase right now, Josh? No, it's not available oh. for purchase. It was sold exclusively to the Cask Club members. And um, there were reports of it selling out in 40 minutes and stuff like that. I don't know what the official thing is. I can't speak for that. I signed in at exactly the time that I was supposed to. And I couldn't get through, so I refreshed. And immediately after, it was one minute past and I got through. Took a long time for everything to load. And a friend of mine jumped on three minutes later, God. sold out. So at 10.03, a friend of mine could not get this whiskey, but it cost $125. Mm. Now, a lot of people will say $125 for a six-year-old, you guys are fools. And you know what? That's a sad way to live. Yeah. Because you can get some super young whiskeys, let me, trail off and talk about car more for a quick sec when they're putting four-year-olds six-year-olds in barrels and it's coming out immaculate you can do it and we'll pay for it all day i did pay for this because of what it represents not just because of uh you know it's a new whiskey yeah i mean i'm a i'm a Eclair fan this is only what survived yeah this just was left yeah it was all so as long once i drink it down I, I try to leave a bottle so i can revisit later but once you revisit later so many times, it's gone. Right? In case you didn't know, you'd normally buy a cask case. That's the word I'm looking for, a case at a time. Uh, because, you know, it's really difficult to just judge it off of this little bit. For sure. And you want to keep revisiting after it's been opened and whatnot. But yeah, sometimes some friends will go in on a case and it gets fun revisiting later, right? Just try it with a bit of water. It yeah. brings out, uh, let me add just an oily tar-like yeah. note. I'm going to call that. 
What did you just say? Tar? tar? Yeah. I'm all about that. Uh, tar it's weird looking at you, Matthew J. A waxy kind of note. You know what? Do you ever have braces? I did have braces actually when, when you, I was like 12. Yeah, when you first got braces, uh, they started to cut your mouth, so they gave you these little wax pieces you put yeah. over the top of the metal. I remember yeah. those. There it is. I remember those. Let's see if it brings back even more. Wow, to me it brought. Uh, well, you know, you're saying tar. Uh, I get a kind of a medicinal note. It's, yeah, it reminds me of like a, a freshly opened uh, first aid kit bandage. You know what I mean? That clothy kind That's of. That's the adhesive. Part yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm having fun with it. Again, it's Alberta. Come on, we're in Alberta. They gave you a piece of the cask. It's cool. Uh, super cool. They got a little right up there. I like this, again, because of what it represents. And it's tasty. So I did spend $125 on it. But am I upset about that? No, I am not. I'm definitely not, because he bought it. Mm -hmm. I've given the option tomorrow, as someone said, yo, there's one bottle left. Do you want it? But it's $125. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to grab it because I want that piece of history. Yeah. And if Ty said no, I'd be like, hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Again, um, I got to plug Alberta. I like Alberta, Alberta, Alberta. That's where we are. That's where we live. That's what we love. So uh, well done. Yeah. Um, cheers to Eclair. Cheers, Eclair. Cheers to Caitlin Quinn. Caitlin. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers to you, homie. Cheers, dog. And cheers to you, heathens. Cheers, y'all. We'll cheers, cheers to all time. those uh, cast club members out there, too. Lucky devils. Mm -hmm. That's me. I just got that little bit of banana. Yeah, you oh, got, got it in my head, but I'm like, mmm, banana is <laughs> there. <laughs> I'm a banana. Oh, I am a banana. I am a banana. Oh, sorry. My spoon. Yeah, those rejected cartoons really, man, I, I really dig them. <laughs> yeah. mm. Now it's more bean lard, or was it? Remember? Bean mulch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Now with more sodium. Don't put salt in your eyes. Put salt in your eyes. Put salt in your eyes. Well, first of all, never put salt in your eyes. Never put salt. Never put salt. Never put salt. Put salt. Put salt. Put salt. Put salt. Never put. Never. Never. Always put salt in your eyes. No. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you later. Bye.